What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKL Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things box. Remember to like and subscribe and of course hit the bell notification, make sure that's on all so you'll be the first to know whenever we drop new content. I know it's been the first video in a long time, we've just been uh, moved, had to move house recently so getting that situated. So this one here, we're talking about Anthony Joshua or should I say kind of the curious case of Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Um, obviously last year he had the second loss of his career against Alexander Usyk. Um, I for one felt that his tactics and his strategy in that fight were, really, you know, it was like a suicide mission. It was very, very odd tactics. Um, he, he was trying to outbox Alexander Usyk and that was weird um, considering the fact that Alexander Usyk, he's the smaller man and he's by far the, the superior technician. Um, in that ring so in that fight really really weird tactics by Anthony Joshua and he was saying things to the effect of oh I'm gonna prove everybody wrong or I'm gonna show that I can actually box a lot of people you know because Tyson Fury said oh he's a built up bodybuilder rear, 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 and he's a stiff guy and whatever so he wanted to show um, that he can box and he can do things differently he can do what people say he can't do uh, but to me, when you're going into a very important fight, you're going into, you're defending your unified belts, uh, you can't really afford to be thinking about what your critics are saying. What you need to think about is what you need to do and how you're going to beat a guy in front of you. Like, that's that's the main thing. It's not about what Tyson Fury says or what Pete, other people say. And it's not about the critics. It's about you getting in that ring um, and fighting the right fight. You beating that guy that's in front of you. And... Um, his tactics were just, um, and they, they were insane in that fight because he, you know, it's it's like standing there and trading with, with Mike Tyson or or trying to outbox Floyd May, you know, this, that guy, Usyk, he's a special fighter, special fighter, very gifted um, southpaw. So he, he's the last guy that you're gonna, you, you wanna have like a boxing match with. That, that was ridiculous, so I thought, those tactics were ridiculous. He didn't really give himself the best chance of winning. Um, so as we're going into uh, the second fight, there's no date been announced yet. Um, but uh, from what Eddie Hearn has been saying, it appears to be they're looking at a date, sort of the first quarter of this year. So we're in January now, near the end of January. So from what I understand, they're talking about around sort of April time, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't think it's going to be March. So I, th I think somewhere end of March, beginning of April, maybe May, that sort of uh, time frame is, is apparently what they're looking at. Um, Anthony Joshua has been abroad, he's been in Dubai, he's been in America, and he's been looking at all these uh, different trainers. Um, there's many strong rumors that he might train with um, even, uh, uh, Robert Garcia, um, he's been with a uh, few others, um, he's been seen with Eddie Reynoso as well and Canelo in their gym and um, there's there's a few guys that, that is rumoured to, to be training with. Tommy Brooks came on the Fight Is Right podcast, said he'd be willing to help AJ but um, as far as I know there's no official announcement being made yet. Um, but Anthony Joshua has been sort of uh, kind of promising to make an announcement about his training set up very soon and very imminently. So um, we can sort of look forward to that. As for who it's going to be, um, there's a bit of debate about that. I mean, because of the way he kind of is, you, you, you with Anthony Joshua, you, he speaks in quite a cryptic manner. So in some ways he's, he's quite hard to read and it's quite hard to tell. Um, Ronnie Shields as well is another guy that he's, he's been doing a bit of work with in America, when he was in America. Um, and I think there's a few other candidates out there, but as, as for who it's actually going to be, um, at this point in time, we don't know. Um, I, I feel honestly that it's a shame somebody like a Manny Stewart is, is not with us anymore because I think um, a guy like Manny Stewart uh, would have been a good trainer for Anthony Joshua uh, just from the psychological aspect because um, 
he was able to help Lennox Lewis get back on form after um, his, his loss to McCall. You know, Lennox Lewis took him off of Alexander, as was Alexander, I mean, Oliver McCall, and um, he was able to get Lewis and re rebuild him. He was able to help Vladimir Klitschko psychologically and uh, Klitschko box safety first, but he, he managed to, was able to instill a lot of confidence in him. Um, so I, I reckon somebody like that who could who could sort of get um, help AJ to get his mind right, someone like that would be, would be would be very good. And as an outsider sort of thing, I reckon also just my my sort of humble opinion. Um, I reckon also someone like a Teddy Atlas um, in terms of how he is and his personality and his style. Um, maybe a good uh, fit for Anthony Joshua because he's like a drill sergeant. He sort of knows what he wants. He's he's very uh, strict with with his uh, training regimen. He's he's got these um, uh, analogies like what he used with Tim Bradley. We are we're firemen. We're firemen. He's very passionate. He's very fiery, and um, he knows his boxing. And I think someone like a Teddy Atlas. Um, is probably an outsider. I, I don't think he's a likely candidate, but I reckon somebody like that would be very good for Anthony Joshua if he's going to um, change from uh, uh, Rob McCracken. And um, also, I think another possibility is that Anthony Joshua sort of retains uh, Rob McCracken in some capacity, maybe managerial or something like that. But um, from from what I'm hearing, there was even an interview with. Uh, Rob McCracken's brother um, and he was saying that he doesn't know everything but he said that it looks as if uh, his brother and um, Anthony Joshua are going to part ways. Um, I do think it's going to be a, a big risk for Anthony Joshua at this point in time to be um, changing trainers also because uh, he's going straight into an immediate rematch so you know as much as yeah i would agree that a new trainer could elevate joshua to a different level could um improve him and help him i also you know i'm not naive so i, I know that um having such a quick turnaround so having basically just uh, one camp to to adjust and and to win your most the most difficult fight that you've you've ever had pretty much um I suppose outside of Klitschko, because but Klitschko, although he got hurt and knocked out, he kind of knew what to do against Klitschko. I think in a fight like this, where it's going to be tough, it's going to be mentally draining, it's going to be physically draining. Um, he's going to have to get his tactics just right. I think um, at this point, it's it's very risky to, um, to to completely change everything, change the trainer setup, and change the trainer. Um, I think if he did, if he does change the you know if this does go ahead we do hear this announcement um, my in my view he should probably just take um, you know okay get the new trainer but take a few fights in between you know take another fight in between maybe step you know if that's if as a managerial role I'm talking you know if I'm advising him or or talking to him in any way that's what I would probably say that you know okay you know maybe let this fight pass and then um you have a few fights maybe even just one fight or whatever just to get used to your new trainer and how he works and and adjust to that to that um sort of style and then you you um you sort of go ahead and then you have to rematch after you've built a little bit of confidence with a few fights or whatever then you you step into Usyk um, to the UC rematch, having been used to how your new trainer works and, you know, getting that um, gelling together, getting that chemistry going and everything. So, yeah, I mean, let me know what you think, guys. Um, Anthony Joshua changing trainers. I think it could be a good idea. It could be a refreshing idea. I mean, the last performance was um, terrible and I think he may have just about reached the ceiling with um, McCracken at the moment. So I think new trainer could be helpful to him but it's got to be somebody who can um, get into his head and um, get him thinking correctly because i think with joshua 
a lot of the problem is is with the mind is is the mentality it seems a bit confused and uh, you know a bit lost on this one so anyway let me know what you think about joshua's training situation immediate rematch with alexander Usyk, and until next time it's mko pugilism over and out catch you on the next one